Hello and welcome back to The Fantasia by Rodrigo. We're diving into the fanfare of the Knight of Naples. There is a lot of this. I'm also going to speed up that. So let's just dive into this first video on the fanfare of the Knight of Naples. Fantasia, Rodrigo, Concerto. Right, here we go. I am not playing through all of these C's and G sharps. I'll show you how to do it the first couple times and every time the finger changes, otherwise we're gonna giddy up. So it's six, eight, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two. And this time it's two and one to get the clash. Very, very Rodrigo. Next bit, there's a three beat pause. Then we have this F7. To A major. Now, I've seen a lot of guitarists will do, because it's SFZ, the call is yours. You can either play it nice and neat, or you can go a little bit more Spanish. Thumb on the A string to really push it out. Then we have more horse. Stop again, and then guess what? Twice. Half a bar, one bar, another half a bar, and then again. Three times. And then note. And then we're into that, and then we're into something brand new. It's gonna be half bar two. Two and three on, and then back to. And then again, you can. Stop. And that's your first micro study. I've sped all the bits up that we don't need because once you've learned this, this will drive you nuts because especially if it's Sul Ponticello. It just whoosh, explodes out there. That's the horse. Giddy up, El Knight, the Caballero. Oh, knight, giddy up, knight of Naples. <laughs> Anywho, welcome to micro study two. So we left it off at the end of the night bit. We now have some new chords introduced. So I'm going to do the fingerings first. So it's three here, C sharp, third finger on, bar two, next chord, which is with the C sharp still on. So you're going to do three of those. Segovia suggests four there, but you could use your three. I have also seen a lot of guitarists do this and just put all of the strings in because it just makes it easier. The choice is yours. It's whether you want to do that is going to be your choice. That's a, a player's performance choice. So picking it up, we did the uh, F sharp and back to the D with C sharp in the bass. You've got two choices. You saw the first one. Just lift your one up, it's just so much easier, but you could. Back to the F sharp with the B. F sharp, D. Cut. Now one thing just to discuss is, you'll see a lot of performances where they will do nice, Nice and short, sharp staccato chords for all of this. Again, that is a player's choice, your choice. It depends on how you feel and hear this movement. So carrying on, bar rest, this chord again. And then we get this again. This time, however, you've got to use three because of where we're going. Cut into... can see again another little hack there. Right, we get to rehearsal mark 11, little interlude from the orchestra where they pick that up and then in the middle of all that, barely, barely discernible. You 
can't hear it, it's buried underneath the orchestral texture, it's there and it mimics what's done in the high woodwind. Four bar rest, and guess what we're doing again, this time with a two and a one. Stop, gonna pause there because that's enough in that already, loads there. Next micro study we pick up for some new chord shapes. Right, welcome to the next micro study. So I left it off after the horse giddy ups around and we have now, we have this two and one and it starts across the bar. So we half, so it's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then we're into this F sharp seven chord, repeat. The rhythm after this is one, two, and three, four, five, six, and then guess what? Leaving your third finger down. Stop, and then we're into a new set of chords. Now, options for this new set. First option, playing it in this position. I would suggest it's D, B minor, second finger up and down, E, G, either one and two, into D, A. Option two, you actually take everything up at the seventh fret because the, the D is actually underneath a bar. Then we have the B, E minor's there. Again, you're gonna have to use your fourth finger. Down to the G, down to the D, down to the A. And again, everything's staccato, so you don't need to keep the, the notes on. So those are the two options. Uh, the first one is my option, the second one is Segovia's. But again, you please, please, please practice and check out your own fingering choices. There's loads of ways of playing this because you could actually, if you wanted to, pop it up here. Okay, so again, it just depends on how your chord knowledge is. And then guess what we have next? Welcome back, F7. A, and then we have a six bar orchestral interlude that has a violin and trumpet, and then we're back in with two and one. We get the melody back from the beginning of this section, which we will have a look at in the next video. This one is short, sharp, and sweet because this is quite big. It's loads of new stuff. And of course, it is wonderful, wonderful Rodrigo challenging harmony. He loves putting clashes on the guitar. He absolutely enjoys it. So practice that, and then we're gonna dive straight into the second half of the Fanfare of the Night of Naples. This has been your daily dose of six string inspiration from myself, Rain. The Night of Naples is horse and Rodrigo. Enjoy.